Hey, Team 3D. Alright, how about we give them a, a, a try? Alright, uh... Anything new? Nope. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, the Mickey was in this. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, what outfit would be in? Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, I'm gonna cut the recording here and then restart the recording just in case. Okay, uh, fix. There was a little, uh, my screen went black, so I didn't want to like continue recording in case there was something wrong. So, uh, let's continue on with the song. This game only gets what two songs. Wonder of Electron. <laughs> I wonder why this game only has one section. <laughs> I mean, it's an alright song, but you know, the game itself is not bad. Like, before like this game came out, people literally thought that this Sora that we're playing as is literally Data Sora. <laughs> All right. Is there a second song to this? There is. Normal books. Ah, uh, the total. I'll take that off. Don't need Mickey around for for everything. 
Oh, but Ch Chibi Riku looks so adorable. <laughs> No more bugs in this system. It's a shame they didn't actually put in the, the bug blocks at me. I hope these Giga Shadows are killing as shadow enemies. Please. <laughs> I feel like that is over 80 enemies. Or 80 shadow enemies. 41 Ugh. A strange this entry game happened found <laughs> in the journal that chronicled Sora's adventures. To investigate, the journal was converted to data, but it was full of bugs. Mickey called on Data Sora to help them restore the world inside the journal. As he restored the datascape, more and more strange messages kept appearing. Mickey and the others should have been watching from the other side of the screen, but somewhere along the way, Data Riku, the embodiment of the journal, had imported them into the datascape to help solve the mystery of the message. Maleficent and Pete were causing all sorts of trouble with their plan to take over the real world through the datascape. Data Sora drew power from the connections with his friends in his heart and used it to fight and forge a path forward. He defeated Sora's Heartless, the bug in the data that had corrupted the journal. That should have been the end of this journey, but Mickey received word that a door to a new world had appeared, and he once again entered the datascape. On the other side of the door was Castle Oblivion, Led by a figure in black, Data Sora repeatedly relived the pain residing in his heart. If he kept holding on to that hurt, he would be dragged down into the darkness. But Data Sora realized that his pain was what tied his memories together. He swore to the cloaked figure, Roxas, that he accepted the pain. The hurt of those connected to Sora remained dormant in his heart. And to help find a way to face and heal that pain, Namine had left the mysterious journal entry. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. 
Mickey and Data Sora now knew the true meaning of those words. Data Sora thanked Naminé, and they said their goodbyes. Mickey wrote Sora a letter detailing the events that took place in the Datascape. You are who you are because of those people. They need you, and now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. I know, that was a very long cutscene just to explain this one short, really non porn game. <laughs> like, literally, like, the last, the point things, the point stuff literally came from the end of the game and the stuff that they added in the HD cutscenes. Literally, this game did not need anything. <laughs> Alright, so of course we're going in game story order. So we're gonna be starting with the Brick by Sleep crew. I love these guys. Terra, eh. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird that we got 3D before Breath by Sleep. Since literally, like, the next place in story wise is Breath by Sleep. Oh, um... Oh, here's something that I totally, uh, forgot. Um, after the first recording session, which I should back out, um... Oh, yes, th this happened. Uh, collector's level increase. Uh, sorry, scene. We get all these level increasing. Uh... Yeah. So, uh, this was previously locked, and to unlock, you have to do uh, one song in the track selection. So I did that, and you get all of this. Yep. So y you get like a basic, basic like high res photo uh, scans of all this stuff, which looks really good. Glad that uh, they they did this. Looks amazing. Uh, Kiars got station awakenings. Uh, story scenes. And there is gold and platinum versions. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna get everything. Obviously not, because you besides playing through the the game. They're, they're, they're locked behind, you know, like, random car packs, which you don't have to use real money. It's, it's all obtainable in-game. And I am not gonna do that, because, like, I, I'm, I'm not interested in doing it, all that stuff. Okay, so, 17. Uh, so, we need, uh, 19, 19 more cutscenes. That'll basically complete the entire stuff, the entire collection. Theater. Uh, what, what, what do we get in here? Uh, obviously the the opening cutscene. Oh, um, something else, uh, besides jukebox. Once we get out of here, there is something I do want to show. Uh, these are all the songs. Can listen to. And the record. Obviously, the, the, the record of, of all the stuff that you played and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah, we're playing for six hours now. Six hours, nine minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, King of King of Jumps. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so we have to go to, I think, config, and then there is a tutorial part. Um, uh, music stages, I think it is this? No. Uh, cause I, the one song I played was Sanctuary. No, no, no. No, no, no. Out, out, out. Out. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, I think... Yeah, it's Memory Dive. Th th this is the, the one I unlock. I don't think it's gonna show once we reach the end game. So, Memory Dives. In Memory Dive Music Stages, hit the targets to the rhythm while watching iconic scenes. So it's basically what what was played at the very beginning of the game, you know, after hitting, oh, press, no, hit a button to continue, so, and we got the, the intro, intro songs. Okay, so hit targets, X, L, 1, R, 1, slide, tilt sticks, hold, press and hold, X, L, 1, R, 1. Targets with a line connecting to them will need to be hit at the same time. Of course, press all three buttons, a slide, targets, hit, tilt, both left and right sticks. Okay, uh, sometimes hold target will begin. When another one ends, change which buttons you press to transition between targets. For example, press X for the first target, or press L1 or L1 as you release X to hit the next one. And just like in field battles, the outer circle of the timing guide will gradually stream. Uh, aim for the moment it lines up perfectly with the inner circle. Yeah, so it's literally like what we played at the very beginning of the game. The, the very first the very first rhythm part that we that we played. Huh. <sighs> okay. That's enough ex explanation, but um, that's nice to have that changes every time we we, we switch uh, or like change go into a different segment. So adorable. Love you guys. <laughs> but anyways. Let's just continue on. Uh, birth by sleep. It was about to go. It was about to go hard. <laughs> oh man, I love birth by sleep. Birth by sleep. Personally, is my favorite game. Except when it comes to 100%ing it. That can. No, no. Aqua, since when can you fly? You could never glide. You can only double jump. Hey. Oh, I hate you guys. Why well, had to return? Oh my god, I forgot you look like that in vanilla. So used to the uh, Fall Mix version of the enemy palettes. Yeah, these color palettes are just so boring. How am I missing? Oh 
Huh. I really hope I didn't get that 13 misses. Okay, good. Ah, uh, really? Nice. Diversion, diverging paths. Yep, we played out every character, every team, at least once. That song's pretty, pretty good too. Nice. Whew. Yeah, full chain. Jumping enemies, uh. Master Ericus's three apprentices affirmed their bonds of friendship as they prepared for the Mark of Mastery exam. But Aqua was the only one to pass the exam and become a Keyblade Master. Leaving Terra no time for disappointment, the three immediately received word that creatures called the Unversed had emerged to threaten the world of light. Master Xehanort had gone missing. Both Terra and Aqua were tasked with bringing the situation under control. Meanwhile, a masked boy left Ventus with a distressing thought. Terra resisted the call of darkness as he sought out Xehanort and the Unversed. Ventus chased after him. And Aqua carried out orders to monitor Terra. Everything was going perfectly according to Master Xehanort's plan. Oh. 
Oh boy, oh boy. Uh Hmm. I mean, well, why split up like this? Like, having the two paths, like, you know, like in the original game. Oh, hey, yeah, you can go to here, you can go to here, and you can go to here in the first, in the first round of worlds. Then you, then you go, uh, then go to here, then you go to here, then, okay, they, they didn't do Olympus Coliseum. Okay. Okay, uh, a little understandable, but uh, you know, j just put, put you no know, concrete order, you know, just for me. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go with here. Oh, this is definitely gonna get copyright claim. This is definitely this is definitely copyright claim written all over it. Oh man, but hey, I don't care because I can just mute it out in post ed editing. So, uh, yeah, you guys are probably not hearing anything right now, so, uh, yeah, put on, oh, no, wait, we gotta be on prep, dang it. Uh, anyways, yeah, sorry about that, guys, uh, no bippity boppy boo for you, because I don't want this song to get blocked, I don't want this, uh, video to get blocked. A bippity boppity da boo. Put it together and what do you got? Bippity da boppity boo. Diddy da 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 Brandon Dingy the D do the da the ding dun dun ding gun ga ga ding gun ga ging gun ga ging gun ga ga ging gun ga ging gun ga ga da 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 boo Brandon dun 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 how did I miss that I don't know why it keeps on missing I did anything wrong. You should be paying closer attention. Do 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 do. Ding 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 ding. Ging ga ga gong ging ga ging ga 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 ging ga ging ga 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 ging ga ga ging ga ga ga. Boo di 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 do. Di 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 do. Bah. Hmm. I'm gonna have to redo this. <laughs> oh, so close. Ah, oh, Wow. Wow. You know what? I will restart the song. So I will be right back. Alright. Uh hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> I'll do that in, in standard. I did not want to leave this song, which is oh, we didn't get anything at all. I had to get at least something. Oh, okay, castle escapade. Uh, gonna turn those off. Okay, castle escapade.
Oh, I thought, thought I got the full chain. One miss. One miss. When I not break the barrels, boxes. Ugh. I'll go back and forth between the areas. It's so like after I'm done with doing Cinderella's, I'll go here to Dwarf Woodlands, go to uh, Chain Dominion, uh, then go here, then I'll go to here, then back to here. <laughs> oh, the tumbling. Oh. You know, I, I really gotta wonder, what's the point of the leveling? Like, like, like seriously, what, what's the point of the leveling? Because we're not doing any more damage. Oh, come on! Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely not 50 HP more. Ugh. Why? Oh, yeah.
Okay, well, I'm gonna do the first one on my standard, most definitely. Oof, Symphony Master. Nice boss, <laughs> but, but the music for your, for your, for your thing is hard. Alright. Whew. Dun dun dun. Uh, these kinds of curves are like kind of trippy to me. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> The two goods, really? Mm. Oh, well. Um, I hate. I hate when they do the, the total thing. Just it's, it's so annoying. Ah. 
How do I miss that? Excuse me. How am I was literally hitting the buttons. Four misses. Ugh. And there's literally only twelve in this. Hmm. Well, I played over a hundred songs, so just about forty to sixty more. Or 65% or more of Malicious Goon, the ma maze enemies, really? You have to be specific? Alright. Can't believe they have to specific, uh, specify. Oh, hey, you gotta attack one enemy. Th these one specific enemies. 65% of the time. these enemies, really? But Science Support Song is really good. Halfway through. Full chain. Ooh. Yeah, baby.
Okay, uh, so this, that world is down, so I think... Huh. Well, in chronological order, you gotta do this, so... <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Hmm. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh man, proud mode, boss. Eh. I just realized they they they, they use the. Uh, Not bad. Ah, ah, ah. Excuse me. Come on. Do that on freaking proud. Excuse me. Doing that on proud, and I got 79% of it, and I got 79% of it. I'm doing this on standard. No way, no way. Not, not doing that on proud. <laughs> Wait, did, did the items even go? I didn't even realize that, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm doing good. Oh wait, I'm playing on standard.
was a full chain they, they expect you to do that on proud on proud they gotta be out of their out of their minds just like why why <clears throat> 